There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Yes. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to weekly vlog. It is the first day of my period, which my period has come on the day predicted by the app twice now. It was predicted to come today and it came today and that's really exciting. My day one cramps are always the worst and they usually start before the period comes if that makes sense and they get more and more intense and my cramps can get quite bad. I would even use the word excruciating sometimes. That is something that I'm working on with my functional nutritionist which by the way I've gotten so many questions from you guys asking who I have gone through which I didn't want to mention her just in case like nothing worked or I didn't want to recommend someone that I only had just started out with or didn't really know. And I also don't want to be saying, this is the way that you should go. This is just the pathway that I took. And I would recommend her if that's something that you would want to do. I'll leave her link down below. Her name is Fran Dargaville and she's based in Sydney actually. So I don't actually have, I have never met her <laughs> in person. We just have Zoom calls, but yeah, she's been phenomenal. She's basically cleared my skin completely, which is something that I have not been able to do. If you want to hear a little bit more in depth about my gut and skin experience, go watch this video. I go way more in depth but yeah long story short I feel like my bloating is much better my digestion my bowel movements my energy levels so many different things like that I had really bad like stomach pains all the time before whereas now it's much much less um if at all it only really happens if I eat something that I'm like this is gonna hurt my tummy and it does but yeah I'll leave her down below she was really really awesome the last thing that we're kind of working on now is my period pains my PMS because I experience intense PMS like I'm talking the week before my period emotional mess the world is ending tears all the time I feel so sad that's why I did the Dutch hormone test through her and we discovered that I have really really high cortisol and a bunch of other different things that we can look at um and yeah I'm not gonna get too much more into it I'm sorry excuse me are you buying the blanket Anyway, back to my period. I was doing okay with my cramps, but then they just got a little bit too much when I got back from the gym and I was just like, oh, I'm feeling this. Proud of myself for going to the gym on day one of my period. That's almost unheard of, but I'm just kind of taking it easy. I really do want to try and work on my stress levels and I talk about it all the time, but I don't actually ever take any action doing it. And you know, the thing that would probably help me the most is to not be on my phone. I am on my phone so much. Let me have a look at my... Um, what's it called? Screen time? There we go. Obviously my job is connected to my phone. I feel like I obsessively look at work stuff all the time, like way more than I need to, or I'm on TikTok and I'm just scrolling and it just like melts your brain. I never ever switch off from work. The first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I check Instagram, YouTube in terms of work stuff, emails, which is so bad. First thing in the morning and you, you're looking at work stuff, like what are you doing, Connor? Okay, well my daily average is down 16%. Six hours, 17 minutes. The only times that I'm not with my phone is when I go for walks and sometimes I and sometimes I even take my phone with me and on those occasions where I'm quite literally just away from my phone not looking at my screen I feel better I feel more relaxed and calm I really want to challenge myself and try and not look at my phone for like the first hour that I'm awake I think I try and justify it in my brain because I'm like what if there's something that I need to look at what if there's something that's popped up or something like that but I think my stress and my mental health is more important I don't need to be doing anything at you know, five in the morning because I get up so early. Anyway, I need to open the door. I will give myself the exception of filming and using it for actual work stuff if it's in the morning, but no going on social media or checking emails or doing any of that, purely using it for the camera purpose of the phone. And another thing that I want to do to help reduce my stress, and I'm always wanting to do it, it's honestly the equivalent of how I always wanted to start running, is read. I read two books this year and I thought I was on a roll and then I didn't touch it. I honestly think it might be quite similar to running where it almost feels like a chore in the beginning, but then the more you do it, the more you look forward to it and the more you want to do it. And I enjoy reading. I, I really do. I used to read all the time when I was younger, but 
but I just haven't and I think I'm the last person to read this book on the planet. What is it called? A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've heard really good things. Elise loves this. So far, so good. We're at chapter five, but I really want to stick with reading because I did it this morning. I read while I was awake. I had my coffee and I was reading instead of sitting on my phone. So hopefully we can keep this going and then I can kind of enter into the whole world of books. And I do love books. I just, I'm just not in the habit of it. That's what the real issue is. Just not in the habit. Passionate, violent, sexy, and daring. <laughs> oh, my period pain though. I have taken some naprogesic and I'm just waiting for it to kick in. But I'm probably gonna sit and actually read because I want to and I'm in pain, so. There's truly no better feeling than getting into bed when you have period pains, one, and your legs feel a little bit achy. I'm going for a break walk this afternoon, so I feel very like, <sighs> it is. 7.22. Oh my gosh. I went to bed very, very late last night, which is an anomaly. Anomaly? Anomaly. 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 You know what I mean. I still woke up at 5 a.m. My body, I think, is conditioned to wake up at 5 a.m. We need to get some bloody blackout blinds. If you have any recommendations, I don't know whether to get them, like, actually, like, get a company to do them or order them on Amazon. Not sure, because you can get ones that kind of stick on. Because if you just... These are the windows in question. They're not very big, so I can't imagine it would be crazy expensive to get them professionally done. But I do find the ones on Amazon are very mixed reviewed. And I want it to be like black out the room. Like you wouldn't know if it was nighttime or daytime. I'm gonna sit and read my book. <laughs> I put up a question box on my Instagram asking like what kind of content you want to see and it's so funny because some people are like no more running stop talking about running we hate the running and then other people are like we love the running do more running I love it but at the end of the day it's gonna be what I want to do why do period pains exist honestly they are the worst this is my sleeping pillow that I get out every night it's my memory foam pillow honestly I get the best night's sleeps Boyfriend does not sleep well. He's a very light sleeper. I could sleep through anything. Anytime anything happens in the night, I'm fast asleep. Whereas old mate is like up and at him at anything. Um, he'll be like, did you hear that? That, that happened at this time? I'm like, no, <laughs> I was asleep. But I did not used to always be this way. I used to have really bad sleeps and I actually had to use melatonin to help me get to sleep. And I got it from my naturopath at the time and that really, really helped. But now, honestly, I'm just in a really good routine. I feel like I get really deep sleep. I feel really well rested. I still get that like 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. slump feeling, but I feel like that's just because I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm like, that's a universal experience. If you have not got yourself a memory foam pillow, get one. It's phenomenal. This is from Emma Sleep. I'm trying to convince him to use a memory foam pillow because they're not comfy. They do feel like a brick, but you learn to love it and it does make the biggest difference in your sleep and neck pain and just everything and you you recover when you sleep and it's just so important and a silk pillowcase for your hair and your skin uh i've also started sleeping naked which is kind of random because i get very hot when i sleep um especially since i'm sleeping next to another person i feel like they radiate body heat obviously not naked right now but especially as it gets warmer that's been really good sunrise alarm clock to wake up although don't really need one in summer because the sun will do it for you. <laughs> this is my little nighttime hairstyle. We leave out the front bits. Good morning. It's Thursday already today. 
but I feel like this week is just going so fast. As I've mentioned before on my channel, I've been trialing different um, natural deodorants. I've ordered some from Wild, which I'm keen to try. But if you've ever used a natural deodorant, you'll know that you can tend to smell more, especially if you've just switched over from a normal deodorant. And like a lot of natural deodorants break me out or I feel like they just don't work or I feel like I smell. One thing that really, really helps and I honestly feel like I don't smell anymore, even if I don't have deodorant on, with an exception, you know, is putting glycolic acid on, <laughs> that sounds really intense, on your armpits. I've been doing this really regularly because I realized that I had this. It's from The Ordinary. It's their glycolic acid toning solution, not sponsored. And I just put some on a cotton pad and I put it on my armpits and I kind of let it dry. And I put quite a lot on, like originally I was putting just like, like maybe an amount that you put on your face, but I kind of like really put it on there. And I swear it makes the biggest difference. Like, pfft. right now I'm trying the no pong one. And so far it's doing pretty well. I just hate that you have to put it on with your hands. That's like my least favorite part. And obviously normal deodorants stops you from sweating. Whereas natural deodorants don't do that. You still sweat. So it's kind of hard to find one that's going to make you not smell. But if you're not having any luck with natural deodorants, try the glycolic acid thing. I've also heard apple cider vinegar. Why did I say that weird? Apple cider vinegar does the same thing. But to me that would make your armpits stink. Like, uh, and it would like, burn. But the ordinary is pretty cheap. So we love her. I'm getting ready to go for a run. Um, it's an interval session. Oh, and I did, I semi stuck to not being on my phone this morning. I, I did go on it. I did look at a couple of things, but I didn't like sit on it. I read the book for the duration that I had my coffee. Baby steps, we're getting there. By the way, this is the Gymshark Adapt something bra. I don't know why I don't wear these for running because they're super supportive, as you can see, because I need to make sure I'm supporting my boobs because they're not real and I can't just be wearing like a loose, like non-supportive sports bra. And then I've also been into these ones lately. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're the ones with the split, not the split, the little black pants in them. Because I like running in flowy shorts, but I, I need this part, you know? It's hot. I'm tapping out. That was so hard. I knew it was going to be hot. I feel like when you do interval sessions, you want to run somewhere that's pretty flat. And I have one spot that I do it, but it's just, it's really in the sun. That was so bad. My heart rate hit like 180, I think, which is pretty high for me. The warm up felt really good. Like I felt like my heart rate was low. And then the first interval was 1.6K at five. 25 pace but then I got through it and I was like okay we're not too bad here the next one was 515 pace at 800 meters I did the first rep and I literally wanted to vomit got halfway through the second one um and I paused it and then I finished it and then I was just like nay because I think I had another one another 800 and, th and then I had three lots of 450 pace for 400 meters <laughs> and I was like that's just not gonna happen I was contemplating doing this session on the treadmill this morning and I definitely should have done that because one, it's an air conditioning and it's definitely a lot easier to control the pacing. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Sometimes you get in your head when you think like, oh, I've had a few really bad feeling runs, but it's fine. It's so fine. It's just so hot. I just don't do well in the heat. I feel like I'm the only Australian that actually likes the cold. <sighs> Good morning. Happy Friday. Got you on the big, uh, I was about to say treadmill, tripod. It's currently 7 a.m. I went on a run at, I think I started running at 5.30. It was way better. I was finished my run by about 6.30. <laughs> it was really, really nice after yesterday, which was just a terrible run. And it's funny because I was literally running the exact pacing that I was trying to do yesterday, if not faster for some of the Ks. And I was fine. Like my heart rate was high, but I could do it and it felt comfortable. It's so weird how it can feel literally impossible one day and then really easy the next. We were about to pop to the supermarket Market. I'm so excited because I got my hands on a pair of the New Balance 9060s, which are these bad boys. I see so many people working out of them in the gym and they're very much like a dad shoe. I got them in the color sea salt. They're very, very comfy. I got them on Style Runner um, and they've literally already sold out. They are so hard to get your hands on, but I saw someone put on their story that they were in stock on Style Runner. I was like, 
run. So I'm so happy that I got a pair because they're so hard to get. Like they are a very hot commodity. So if you see them in stock and you do want them, I would grab them. They look really funny from like the top down because they they almost look like a dinosaur shoe. But I'm so excited to wear these to the gym. They feel very like nice and stable. But I think the plan for today is to do some work stuff this morning. And then we're probably going to go to pack fair actually and do a bit of a shop around and also go to the movies for a little date date night situation so that'll be really really nice i can't believe it's friday already this week has quite literally gone by like that um all right supermarket time <laughs> there's nothing better than coming to the supermarket really early because there's no one here Good morning. It's Monday today. This weekly vlog just kind of went down the toilet. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I vlogged periodically and then I didn't really vlog on the weekend. Before I knew it, it was Monday and I was like, oh, random. I was very, very tired yesterday. I went for a little run in the morning and I actually had a nap and I never ever nap, so I must have been tired. Monday today, done a run. I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. I feel way better today, I think, because it's the end of my period, so I'm pretty much almost at the peak of my existence. It's also like homemade iced coffee season now. Even when I started running this morning at like 5 a.m., it wasn't even slightly cold or slightly cool. It was like, summer is here. I also have this really weird texture on my cheeks. So I've obviously had a reaction to something that I've used and I did start using a new sunscreen. So I'm thinking it has to be that surely because it's the only new thing. You can't see it very easily, but I can feel it when I kind of wash my face, so I'm gonna stop using that. You know what's wild is I got up at 4 a.m. this morning. If you would have told literally me before I got into running that I would be like willingly getting up at 4 a.m. and like enjoying it, I would have laughed in your face because I used to always say, if the clock has a four in the hour, no. <laughs> it's not happening. However, with summer and running, you just have to, especially since I I don't just get up and go out the door. Like I have my coffee, do your business, get ready. I have to strap my foot. I need to warm up. It takes a minute. So I have to really allow enough time to kind of get up. Also gonna be very interesting when I start training for a marathon or a half marathon or whatever it may be. And then you have to actually like eat food, like proper food, not just like um, a pre-run snack. Like I literally need to have like a breakfast at four in the morning, let that settle and like get all my stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be a task, but we'll get it done. And it's funny, like I love it. Even though it's like dark and I'm trying to be quiet and like, I don't know, there's just something about being up at that time. You just feel kind of invincible. Update on this bad boy. I am, I have this much to go. I am enjoying it so far. It took me a little minute to get into it, but I have heard that the second book is really, really good, but I am liking it so far. I like how it's such a world. I love books that create like a universe that you just go into. I feel like reading a book uses your imagination and it makes you feel so immersed in the world so much more than a movie does, right? Like I feel like movies, like you can feel like you're maybe a part of it, but a book is just way more way more <laughs> i'm actually gonna read a little bit before i go to the gym this morning because it's only like seven o'clock i've got a lot to do this week so let's get this party started We've made it to the gym. 
gonna give the Air Maxes a go. I got these really cool like silicon covers on Amazon. You can see the texture here. So random. They literally go around. They're already a little bit dirty because I got the white ones, of course. But they obviously just protect the actual Air Maxes because if you have them, boy, do they like to get dirty. I love having the dining room, the dining room, the dining room table on the side. It makes the space feel so much bigger. It's definitely not practical in terms of like logistics. It looks kind of funny, but I can like use the mirror to take photos in, which sounds so self-centered but this week i really want to try and only have two caffeinated coffees a day so this is my second one because i really want to reduce my caffeine intake i really have discovered that i hit the hardest wall between the hours of a about 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and then as soon as it kind of like gets past that 5 p.m. I feel fine and like as the night time comes I like come alive again it's so weird I need to keep reminding myself that I did get up at 4 a.m. today and don't get me wrong I definitely think I'm getting enough hours of sleep because I tend to go to sleep around 8 30 every night maybe I could make that more like eight o'clock. I've just been like filming stories and editing and stuff like that nothing too crazy. I also really need to do a deep clean of my laptop and delete like everything same goes with my phone because i have been filming a lot more reels lately it takes up so much more space on my phone and it keeps running out of space i'm really gonna try and push through this wall i might have a little break and like read my book but that kind of makes me sleepy so i'm also excited because i ordered this product in the mail i've seen it on tiktok don't know if it's a gimmick or not but I will let you know if it's a gimmick, so. I don't know if anyone else has seen this, but it's from the brand Rose and Caramel, and it's meant to be, why did I say it like that? Caramel, I don't say caramel. <laughs> Rose and Caramel, and it's a, it's called Purity XL 60 Second Tan Remover, and they make these TikToks, and they put it on, and they like write words, and it like comes off in 60 seconds and stuff, and it pops up in my TikTok every now and then, but I think I saw another ad for it, and I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a go. If it works, then that could be very, very handy. It kind of looks like this. It's like a little, if you can see, it literally just looks like a body scrub. It smells mm, not much of anything really. Hoping it doesn't irritate the crap out of my skin. When Bondi Sands first came out, oh my God, I want to spill this everywhere. When they first came out with their tan in the bottle, that really irritated my skin. My favorite tan remover though is the Loving Tan one because it doesn't irritate my skin at all. So I probably should do like a patch test and see if I'm gonna, you know, get a rash or something. Will I do that? Probably not. But yeah, I feel like it's a small amount. I mean, that's probably the same amount. But I feel like because the way they put it on, they put it on quite heavy. And I don't know if that's gonna do my entire body. If half the tub is does my whole body, like that's gonna be a bit expensive. But we'll give her a go. You know, if this works, it'll be freaking great. But I can't use it until my tan needs removing. And that's not anytime soon. Oh, and while I'm here, I also got some new Stax pieces. They've launched some of their second left pieces in the Nandex fabric so they're like best black fabric i got this one which i've really been loving layering tanks like this and putting on a less supportive sports bra but then like layering another top so then it makes it supportive and it looks really cute so we got the gray and then they've also come out with the black shorts with no front seam I'm so excited to see what this looks like because I'm not a fan of front seams. Their best black can get away with it, but I definitely prefer a no front um, a no front seam on my active wear. And then I got a little sports bra, cute a little white one. I love the shape of this. And then I got this, which I won't be able to wear until winter probably. <laughs> but imagine on runs, like a really cute little zip up jacket. Those are all launching on the 20th of October, by the way. And my code Connor gets you 20% off now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Coffee is glorious sometimes. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to work and 
My voice just gone all of a sudden. Stars shining bright above you. <gasps> Seem to whisper. Hello, we just got in a package from old Nike Harvest. I feel like I've just taken the biggest trip down memory lane because I've been really into making kind of like the more motivational reels side of things, just like really getting creative. And I thought it would be cute to kind of make a reel of like kind of my journey on YouTube in a way slash in life. And I found some clips. Ooh, watermelon natural pre-workout. They don't have watermelon already. Oh, did I just make that up? Why do I feel like they already had watermelon? Have watermelon. Am I going crazy? Goes live tomorrow. The reel is basically like, I wish I could tell my younger self like where you're gonna be when you're older. I don't know if anyone else did this, but when I was about probably between the ages of mm, 12 and 14, I would say. Yeah, 12 and 14, I used to make music videos. I would record myself lip syncing to songs and I would edit them together and add all these different effects. And that's actually the way that I learnt to edit. So by the time I came around to making YouTube videos, I already knew how to edit because I made all these very cringy music videos. I still have some of them. I have this like corrupted hard drive and it's hard to access. Sometimes I can access it and I managed to get some of the videos off of it. <laughs> I took some clips and put them into this reel um, because I look so young and I'm just like, oh, if only you knew, like making music videos in my mind was kind of like the start of my love for filming myself. That sounds so weird. But you know what I mean? Like it was kind of the birth of me in front of the camera. That period of my life, I feel like I've never been so self-entertained. I adored making YouTube videos. I remember there was this one Aussie girl and she made YouTube videos. I cannot remember her name but she was Australian and she made music videos and I thought that they were the coolest thing ever and I, I don't think she has a YouTube channel anymore. I idolized her because I thought her edits were so cool and I would like copy her music videos. Please let me know if you remember that era of YouTube. It was before beauty gurus were a thing. This would have been like 2010, 2011, 2012 era. I freaking loved it. I would spend hours filming and then editing and I loved it. They're absolutely terrible but I thought I was like Steven Spielberg with them so and yeah and I was kind of going through older vlogs of like just cool things that I've done because I feel like it's so easy to forget all the things that you accomplish or all the things that you experience and you can sometimes forget that and I think I definitely do and it's really important to stay grateful and grounded which I hope that I am and of course you can always be better at doing that because I really think being grateful for everything that you have is super important and it's a real key to happiness not to get all deep and meaningful there I need to sit down and kind of edit the thumbnail for this video. I'm, I'm really certain that they had, did they reformulate it? Or have they just never had watermelon? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say. I tinted my, have I not been in focus this whole time? Oh no. I tinted my eyebrows by the way. That's why they're a little bit darker. I love a good tinted brow. Wednesday. Oh, my eyebrows look way better, like in light, because they are a little bit dark, but 
that'll wear off in a few days the session from not yesterday the day before well, monday it was such a hard session i'm kind of all out of whack with my 10k training plan because i took that like two week break like the long run this week is 16k and i'm not going to be able to run 16k so and i don't want to push it too much with my foot so it's almost like things are on hold but i'm still gonna like progress with like the workout and stuff the monday one was hard because i went on a run that was that ended up being 9k and i do not usually work out and run like that ever but i felt good and i wanted to like keep the momentum going you know end of my period follicular stage happening but by the end of the workout i was like pooped i think i had like a couple more things to go and i was like no it was like a lower body endurance session and today's like a full body endurance session i actually should have a look at what it is um but i'm wearing the new stacks oh that's overexposed the new stacks um second left in the nandex fabric also finished the first book in the akata series please don't anyone spoil it for me i kind of know one thing i don't think it's a massive spoiler like it's not a spoiler in the sense i think that i'll be like damn but i don't know anything else and i want to keep it that way because i'm not really on akata tiktok so i don't want to uh spoil anything for myself because so many people reply to my story being like oh my god this is the best book this is the best book so i'm about five chapters in so far to the second one why is my voice sounding like this and i'm hooked oh, i'm excited I like it because I've really been enjoying reading. I think it's really good. Why is my voice doing this? I think it's really going to help my stress and my mental health. So I'm in deep. All right. had daylight savings I don't understand why they don't it's we don't it's so annoying vlog here i've just been editing it it's a little bit of a long one i feel like i haven't had a 30 minute plus vlog in a while so that's fun but i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a very chatty very like almost like we're on facetime type of vlog and i'm here for it charlie's currently sat under my under my desk hi hi <laughs> are you protecting me yeah but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you in my next one bye